Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Final Fantasy XII. Let's get moving. Um, I'm pretty sure that. Oops. First of all, let's go faster. Treasure. Okay, so. Supposedly, there is a map of the area in the southeast. So, I'll start heading that way. Um. Bon will wake up eventually, so I won't worry about him. Just gonna ditch him there for a bit. Southeast I go! Oh wait, he'll join us when we join him when we go to the next map. Yeah, there you go. He's still sleeping though. Great. Um, I don't remember this place at all. Wow! I died. Great start! Dying, blowing myself up. Um, can I get- oh no! I can't get close enough. I need to step on the trap before actually uh, getting the treasure. I know how to speak. It is early in the day for me. I'm not fully awake yet. Okay, so they say there is a urn with a treasure map. You don't exactly say where, so I'm just gonna have to go exploring through this whole place. Fun times. What exactly was this place that had? they have this coliseum like area? Mysteries, questions, which civilization lived here? Anyway, it's good to go exploring. Sometimes I think I want to mess with my gambits more because they're just so plain and just typical Oh, attack! Just heal whenever someone gets hurt. Like, I want to see what other crazy combinations you can make with like different... Uh, what should we call it? Different... Oh, here you are! Hello, map! Um... There we go. Map area is complete! But yeah, other than the typical, hey, when you're at this level of health, heal yourself, or when the enemy is like this, um, attack or use this special thing. Because some people get really creative. And then I just go on game facts and they're like, hey, you want to do easy leveling or easy blah 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 blah, then just do this combo. I'm like, how did you even think to think of this? I mean, because there's so many different gambits like, um, situations? I'm just gonna call them situations, I don't know what they really are, but like, for every single status, for a foe, or yourself, or your ally, that can trigger something. Like, you could do beneficial things, you could do helpful, I mean, harmful things to enemies, I don't, I don't know if I'm making sense, but it's just, some people, they get really creative and they really want to find out, hey, I want to know the full extent of- oh wait, that just goes back to the beginning. They want to know the full extent of, hey, what's going to work in which situation. They get really creative, and they- it seems like they have fun figuring out, hey, what can I do to break this- not really break the system, but make it really easier to play, and in which situation will doing this action be super OP and helpful. And I'm just like, whatever, it's just attack. Heal yourself if you have to. Ooh. I didn't think that they'd all run into the trap, but what else? <sighs> but this place wasn't that big at all. I thought it would be a gigantic tower and it was just one floor. Ah! to save crystal again, but don't save. Let's go. Libra yourself, boy! Obtain a sweep. What is a sweep? Yeah, one time... Oh, now I entered the tower. Great. Yeah, but just one day I would like to go back to a game that I've played a million times before that I know super well, unlike Final Fantasy XII. Maybe more like 
seven or eight. Probably eight, because I know eight better. And, oh, great, a boss fight. But anyways, yeah, I want to go back and see, hey, instead of just doing everything like vanilla style, like, can I make my GFs learn different abilities for my characters to have? Like, for example, auto haste, auto protect, instead of having to cast it. And like switching up different combos of which GFs you have equipped to make the game easier. I don't know. I'm talking about gameplay mechanics right now because... Ooh, he's... Get the treasure! I'm talking about gameplay mechanics because, um... There's, like... People... Okay. I like to play games for the sake of the story and for the, like, overall feeling of the world, the graphics, not, I mean, graphics aren't the biggest thing, but like, how they design and stylize the world, like this arena that we're in. Look at the floor, it's freaking beautiful. And like, the music, and the environment, how well they develop the characters and the story, that's what I'm interested in. Ball Fear is doomed, so I'm going to start doing this. Going with you, love. Yeah, so that's what I really look for in games. That's what I really enjoy. But then there's a ton of people who love, you know, the difficulty of games. They like having a challenge. They like playing on the hardest difficulty setting. And, you know, playing more with um, strategy. Like, hey, using this status effect on this boss works. And we need to have these abilities equipped to protect the party. Like, for example, Digital Devil Saga 2. Or was it 1? It was 1. Digital Devil Saga 1. You can fight the main character from Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne in there as an optional boss. Except he's freaking ridiculously hard. Like, I tried to fight him one time without a strategy guide, just went in blind because I found him by accident. Oh my gosh, he was so hard, I died instantly. And then I looked up videos of people who legit beat him, and I'm just like, how do you figure these things out? But that's what they live for, they... I mean, that's what they really enjoy in games. I'm just like, props to you guys. Sometimes I wish I was that more ambitious, to, you know, actually play around with with game settings and strategy and abilities, but my style is I like to be super overpowered. I love to level grind to be super strong and then just zip through the game. Because I want to reach the next story area and see what else is going to happen. I don't know. I guess everyone has their own playing styles that they enjoy. It'll, it'll be good, it'll be interesting. Either way. That, see, that's another reason why I love games. I said this last time, but there's so many different ways you can play. Different limitations you can put on yourself. Different ways you experience the world. Different pace that you can go at. Games are so great. And this boss just came out of nowhere and I don't think I could do another... Oh no, I could've, uh, well. I think this is a pretty good quickening chain. I think he should be about dead. I hope. Destroy him! White out. Yeah! This is like my third or fourth time I got white out. I think this is my third time getting white out without me trying for it. He's not dead? What? I have no MP. Uh, switch. Why can't I not switch man? Why can I not switch man? Why is she locked? It's not like I'm doing anything. Um. Okay, well, this is gonna suck. 
Die. Good. Uh, select a new party member. Go. No. Go, beast. I guess I could do the quickening chain with Ash, but I think we could kill him now. Go, Vaughn, heal everyone! Yeah, see, he's dead. Made it. Undead dragons! Oh, I know why these guys are killing me so hard. It's because they keep using status effects and I have no idea how to cure them or prevent them. Haha. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, if only Fran was alive for this. But don't worry, I'll go back. I'll use the save crystal. Heal everyone up. Okay, thank you. Let me get out of the screen. Congratulations, screen is too long. We don't need none of that. Why can I not? Oh, because she was being healed. There we go. Restore me to life. Run faster. Watch, I'm walking backwards to the save point. There's gonna be a Hey, it's gone! Oh no, there it is! Oh man, it freaked me out. I was like, it's not there anymore! Watch, as soon as I go actually go into the building, there's gonna be a save crystal there. And I'll be like, why the heck did I walk backwards? Because I'm a fool. I am a silly fool. Oh man, but there have been tons of boss fights back to back to back. That I've done recently. Like, why couldn't it be this action packed in the beginning? Or maybe it always was, and I'm I was just dumb and kept wandering around the map everywhere. But huh, am I a bit low level? I don't think so. I should be the average level. I just need to set up better gambits. What the heck heals sap? Ooh, mysterious writing on the wall. But can you read it? Can you read it? Got read it. Got read it. Got read it. Got read it. Got read I have all the power. He did not what? How long yeah, true. Of course, Wraithfall would have been here. Man, Wraithfall must have had some great foresight in order to leave that message. But couldn't you be more, like, concise with your statement? More pithy? This is made after to use Ash as a leader? No way. I only need her to open the gate, right? That is an impressive- Seriously, who builds all these buildings? They're freaking impressive! And massive! Like, who would think to make a door that opens on a hinge like that? Like, with all the mechanisms? In a circle? Just- how are they strong enough to support those doors as they're turning? Because if they're turning from the middle, then the middle point has to be strong in order to support the weight and the movement of I. I <sighs> Sometimes I wonder how designers think up of, of like costumes, hairstyles, and you know, 
building and vehicle designs for all these things. And if they really know like how to piece everything together. Um, probably can't touch you, huh? Nothing happens, of course. Of course! See? Save crystal right inside. I will save though because I don't want to see that long cutscene again. Yeah, take for example um, in Final Fantasy 13. Snow's. Actually, everyone's Eidolons. Because they have their Gestalt form and they have their vehicle form. It's like. Of course, if you draw them in their humanoid figure style, you know what they look like. But then, whoa! There was an altar. Altar of Night. Beast here dwelling off the black orbs. Here with approach, my mind offering sealed way to open. So get orbs. Got it. Uh, drop rate for orb is pretty high. So basically, go and kill things. Now, is there a handy dandy map somewhere around here? No. Great. Birds. Touch the orb! No, 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 no. Touch the orb. There we go. Um, I'm gonna collect more than I think is necessary. Just in case. No, get the freaking... Whoa! Oh gosh. That was a mimic. Screw you. Screw you, sir. Oh, was there a black orb? Yay. I don't know how, how much I need, actually, so... Are you really a treasure? Oh, you are. Nice. Anyways, like I was saying, um, the Eidolans, they go from their human figure to vehicles. And it's like... They do show animations of them changing from one form to another, so they all have to fit somehow. And I'm like... Do the designers themselves fully understand how to make them combine? Cause... Oh no! It went away! Ooh, carbon for them. Uh, benighted child's chosen with life so short. Not for you are the words given the unchosen. It's heaven's bright sphere turn, her heights attain. What does that mean? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Mist Mare. Okay, I was like, it's so weird. Frozen horse. Frozen demon horse. Ooh, black orb, black orb. Let me get the black orb. Thank you. Yeah. Should I explore this entire area? Yeah, it might be fun. Give me the orb. Give me the orb. Yeah. I think better at this. Do I really need to explore all the areas? Let's see... You only need three, but it doesn't hurt to have spares. Well, if I only need three... I'm going to leave here, then. So I'm done. Uh, so, I need to... I'll go back to the first altar. Oh, no, wait. That is a different place. Go back to the first one. Thank goodness for maps, huh? Okay, going this way. Oh man, it's pretty far. But, okay. Whoa! You are here too! Do I have to make all of them glow? The Seeker of Heaven's Path, setting out hearts of darkness, shall light your way. Beyond Vigil of the Three Houses Stand, Threshold of the Night, and Watch of Oath. It sounds like you're trying to sound all mystical and whatnot. It... it just sounds like... garbage. Okay. Okay. First seal has been broken. Um, I wonder if there's one all the way around- No wait, there's a save point there. 
So, you know what? I'll go back the way I came. Oh, so that's why they only need three. I have a bunch though, so I'll stop collecting them. And if I need more, I'll get some later. I don't think there is a urn, a urn, an urn with a treasure map here. Hello, second altar? Use a black horn. My controller's vibrating and feels weird! Second seal has been broken. Okay, now I'm assuming I go all the way around to the other side. I mean, the, the top. Okay, that long bottom part on the south is intriguing me. I'm wondering if there's gonna be a good treasure chest down there. Let's collect the black ore just in case. I need more. Better safe than sorry. And there's nothing in here. Great, I'm wasting my time. Oh, everyone's poisoned. Everyone's hurt. Ah! Redis, are you not healing yourself with poison? You'll heal yourself with Petrify. But, oh no wait, it's not you. You! Poisona. Because it takes up less MP. Oh, there is! Oh, that's it. Now I can see the entire map. Huzzah! Wait, for the first ascent? There's more than one? Yeah. Bye bye! Oh no, he came here! Okay, good. Yeah. I thought that this would be a futile battle because how would we ever reach them, but they teleport to us. How kind of them. Okay, let's go. Let's bust some guns. Yeah. We've been slowed, but I don't feel like casting haste on myself because these guys aren't that dangerous. Disabled? Disabled? Oh man. I've been disabled. Uh, white magic? Dispel? Party members. What heals disabled? Fine, I'll just use a remedy. Wow, I'm already down to 86 remedies? That freaking sucks! There we go. Good thing I made everyone learn that on their license for. That remedy heals everything. As they should. Great, a mimic. Stop tricking me with your disguises. Let us move onwards. Oh. Petrify, oh no! Oh, Redis, thank you! Yo, he's prepared! What is this? Threshold of night. It will not open. Well then, bye! I don't care about you. But I actually kinda do. What the heck is inside? Is this gonna be good treasure? Man, there's a ton of these guys around. Why was I so focused on collecting black orbs all at the beginning? Silly me. I like to be overprepared with items and materials. But then I don't actually use them. Or I don't use them efficiently. Not very good. Oh no wait. Yeah, I wanna go this way. It's shorter. Outside. I don't think I have to be in here that long. No, you're gonna trick me. Oh well, who cares if he tricks me? You don't get something good. Ah! I put my trust in you, and you let me down. Cursed jerk. Anyways, let's go out here. 
see what a last altar of night is. There you are. Use a black orb. The thing is, how do I get upstairs? Oh, probably the waystone. Duh. The seal of night loses its power! If only I could jump across. You'd think that if I could summon crazy monsters, I can... Oh wait. That door's open now? Okay, we'll explore it. Yeah, you'd think if I could... Summon crazy strong monsters that I can jump across a gap on the floor. Silly people. Yeah. Immobilize! Oh no! Wait, who healed it? Who healed my immobilize? Yeah, I don't know how status effects work. Open the door, I don't care what it says. Ooh. Are we being teleported? Cutscene? Where the freak are we? What? Seriously, where are we? Ugh! So there's a right way and a wrong way to go? Okay, what made that different? Am I seriously fighting a giant rock? Oh no, it's a turtle! Why am I fighting this guy? Who the heck are you? Well, at least he's not that hard to take down. Pandemonium. A magic shield forms around Pandemonium. If that is the case... Oh no, Fran, what are you doing? Why can I not switch you? No, Fran! Just, just attack. Just attack. No, I thought... Oh, she was curing. Whoops. I should let you cure. Wait, none of my attacks are hurting him. Okay, so the magic shield faded. And now it can- Whoa, Fran, how does your MP get so freaking low? Who is this guy? He just bashed face first into a rock wall and why he's gone now what is happening what the crack is this can i use the waste stone now what was the purpose of all this why did i have to go into that room What in the world? Okay, okay. So I did have to go in there for the waystone. I'm gonna use an ether. Just to give me some MP. Can you teleport me straight to the- of course you won't. Ugh, nothing in life is easy. I mean, I guess I could keep fleeing so that I don't have to deal with these guys, but I feel like I need the experience. Or else it's gonna get tough ahead. Treasure chest, you are not going to trick me this time. Ember breath? Well, I got fire. So, what you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do, punk? Oh wait, he drops High potion, yes, yeah, thank you. You know what would be even better? Remedies and gold needles. Because I'm using them up like freaking candy in here. Okay, uh, we'll go around 
this way. How are some parts of this ruin intact and some are just totally ruined? Haha, <laughs> ruined. Life would have been so much more easier if the whole inner circle was connected. I'm going to save. Because I don't want to deal with that weird pandemonium turtle again. Also, I want to heal myself. Okay, okay, thank you. Let me go. Waystone! What? Oh, there it is. Ah. Touch the device. Give it a good touch, not a bad touch. <laughs> See, there are stairs built. Why can't I just find some stairs and go up? Why does there have to be a waystone? Okay, so I'm assuming you are locked? No, you're open. Wait, there's multiple ways to get out? So if I open this one, does the other one close? No, they both stay open. So what is the point? Anyways, I'll just keep going through. Oh no, but wait! I can't! What? I'm stuck in here. Oh my gosh, just these creepy faces again. A brain pan? That sounds disgusting. I have to defeat them both so that they make a light bridge. Wow! That is creepy! Go attack the chickens! Attack the birds. Come on. Make me a light bridge. You didn't drop anything. Screw you. Oh no, it's a flying dude. Thankfully, I can kill it pretty quickly. Ow! What the heck killed me? What? That's madness. Yay, high potion! You go! Ouch! Vaughn, heal us! You jerk! I can't get across yet, so I must go up. Is there anything here? Yeah, I knew you were hiding something. Treasure! Oh wait, I don't think I need to reach. They say useless stuff. Why are you guys all around? I mean, props to the translators for translating everything. But I really don't think I need to read them. They just say garbage. Nothing beneficial. Do I really have to go all the way around this floor? That is... madness. I guess they want to make it feel like it's a really big ordeal, like this place is so great and big. Okay, it's another section of the map. Go, go, go. Beat him up. Kill him dead. Oh, no. oh, the mobilized cast before wasn't on me, it was on the enemy because one of my dude's weapons has the immobilized ability. Nice, nice. Oh my gosh, is there. That is more of this floor? Are you serious? How big is this place? Man, now 
now I'd rather have the first floor again, where it was just... Hey, talk to these three altars, and then you can proceed. But then this one, I have to check every freaking nook and cranny for one of these heads. A quality stone for what? What are you qualified to do? Blind! He is blind! I do have blindness, and I can heal you. Mm. I'm assuming there's- nope, no one there. It's a trickly map. Seems like a perfect alcove for a creepy head. Nope, nothing there too. Does that mean I fu- Nope! Here they all are, you freaking jerks! Startled me! Wait, the other one's already dead? Wait, why are you guys moving from one target to another? Did it I'm confused! Someone hit me! Why can't we just focus on one enemy at a time? Why did you have to move to a different guy? That's just- it just takes longer for us to kill them then. Wait, but there's a way over there. That's probably what I have to go into the next section for to make a bridge for this one. Mava flipping. Darn it. Oh my gosh, how much longer is this gonna- Okay, so now I'm at the- you know what? I think this is going to take a long time, and I don't want to... It seems pretty easy enough. doesn't look like there's going to be any big surprises that I, I need to worry about. So I'm just going to end this episode here, so the next time I come back, hopefully I'll be in front of another boss. I'll just get through this entire place. And yeah, shenanigans. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.